Hey everybody, we're going to look at drum replacer today. So I have the snare part that I've pulled from a different project. Let's listen to it. And what I want to do is replace this with a different sounding snare. Well, I could go through and draw in MIDI notes for each of those, or I could have a drummer re-record a new part. But why not do something a lot easier? And that is replace or double drum track. Now this brings up a few things. Number one, automatically brings up an instrument track. And it zooms up our snare track here so we can see what we're doing. It places this in the right place. And now we can decide if we want to replace or double. We can also decide which instrument here. So let's do a snare. And then we have a few things that we can set down here. So trigger notes will be generated for transients above the designated value. That's right here. So you can look over to the right and see when I get too high up. You can also see that we can go too low. You can see it right over here. That's some of the bleed from the background because when you record a drum kit, you have other instruments in the same spot. The microphone can't completely block them out. And so now when we do this threshold, we want to make sure we get all the snare, but not the other things. So trigger note, we can decide which of those that we want to play. We can do a timing offset. We can pre-listen to it. We can set an average attack time. We can cancel at this point, etc. So we'll click OK. It mutes the original, and then we have this down here, this snare sound. Okay, so let's undo this one more time. And this time we're gonna go through and do a double. We're also gonna explore some of the sounds that we have. So it's a snare, we're gonna do a doubling, which means it won't mute the original this time, it'll just add this to it. And now over here, just look at the list. And this is the same for all the instruments that we have. We have quite a few. So many different options here. I really like 17 to add some beef to the sound. I think with the overall kit, it'd be just perfect. We're gonna click OK. Now at this point, I can still mute this track, but it's gonna start with them both open. Changes the overall character to it too. But now, the benefits of this are that we have all of those samples already prepared for us. Number two, it analyzes this so that we can get the right timing for the snare. And then it does all the MIDI work for us as well. You can do this with all the components of the drum kit. Usually we wouldn't do this with cymbals. We might add those in manually, but we could. Once you do this all, you're gonna have a really great sounding kit without any of the bleed issues or the tuning issues, or then we can actually go through and do quantization on it as well to make the timing better. We can groove quantize it to some other part 
It's just a really great way to get an audio drum kit recorded into a MIDI format. Okay, that's it. Have a great day, everybody.